don't worry about the next because it's your boy chris with the next all right so i was gonna jump on camera but didn't feel like it probably next week you know i gotta keep the brain moving keep on moving don't stop like the hands of time all right all my real music my 90s hits no that soul to soul all right so this is just random chat i just want to mix just talk about a, a couple of topics like the same bad interview on charlemagne um the god show the breakfast club um that was one of the interviews where I wish it didn't end. He was just spitting straight knowledge, and he wasn't really the um, <clears throat> Hollywood's um, happy Negro. He, he really, um, you know, like he really uh, took control of his own um, career and stuff, you know. And like Monique, you know, you can get ostracized for that. So, you know, they want people to be submissive and, you know, just do whatever they want and some people like no we're not meant to do that and he was saying like these shows what really struck me about these shows like these black shows in the 90s none of these shows are supposed to be great he said live single wasn't supposed to be great martin wasn't supposed to be great the cosby show wasn't supposed to be as big as it was supposed to be uh, magnum pi was supposed to um cancel the cosby show and it ended up being canceled then the census was supposed to I'll take um take out the um the Cosby show. And it didn't. I mean the census is still running. It's not as popping as it was in the nineties, but uh Bill Cosby um just it, what he what Sinbad said he had just uh when the first the I guess the last season when the Simpsons first came out, he did an episode and it started off where, Oh, look at the Simpsons, that's a great show. So now, and then he was supposed to buy out NBC. So now it's starting to all kind of make sense of why all these so-called allegations is coming out about Bill Cosby. You know, it's starting to paint a picture, you know, like this man was really powerful and he was really a positive influence into the black community. And so it's like living single in New York undercover. I guess it wasn't supposed to be great because um like we're living single um living single is the reason why friends um started um because living single when it was big at the time because when it first came out you know it did kind of start off like one of the male bastion shows where men can do this men can do that and although you had um overton and and kyle barker they really didn't <clears throat> Again, they really didn't put their opinion. Cause like when, like with the first episode, you had um, Regine talking about why can't I find a man to, you know, hold me down. And then Queen Latifah was like, because they keep dropping your ass. <clears throat> and then when the season progressed, you know, she was still looking for Mr. Right, but she started working for a boutique. Then she was on Palo Alto doing dresses. And then she, and once the season ended, she ended up finding that Mr. Ray. You know, the show really progressed, and it was one of the biggest shows on Fox to the point where the director for Friends, before Friends came out, whose name I forgot, Queen Latifah said, she saw <coughs> in a magazine where he said, if there's any show that you could have that's, the, that's on the network now, which one would it be? And he said, Living Single. And they took that and made friends into it. And you can kind of see some of the character influences on um, from Living Single on Friends. Like with Rachel being in a boutique. Um, Joey being an actor, kind of goofy like Sinclair. And he eats a lot. You, know, you could see the little influences. And then New York Undercover, that was the hood version Uh, New York Undercover, that was the Hood's version of um, <clears throat> of Law and Order Special Units. You know, that was a great show. And I feel like the, you know, the big wigs, 
probably wanted them to play with more cliche stuff and end up turning it out to be a real show. A show that didn't play with cliches. They deal with real hood stuff. That was in New York. You know, I'm in L.A., but still, you know, <clears throat> a hood is a hood. And, um, yeah, that's what Malik Yorba has said that it was it was it was supposed to be as um great and go all over the world as it should it should have it wasn't supposed to do that so that that paints a, a really 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 um good picture and I feel that you know with the whole um because <clears throat> it ties in with the Black Panther move a lot of people are seeing it and supporting it you know. We haven't had this like big movie since <clears throat> a big positive um, black movie or black anything since um, you know the '90s Black Pack. And that was just, it. Wasn't even a Black Pack. It was just some good ass TV. You know, as black folks, with anything we do, we're gonna try to turn it out. <clears throat> and, so, and you know, a lot of these shows start getting the axe because of that. You know, he was like, we have Empire, we have Star, but, you know, back then it was just popping. You know, we had House Party, you know. And then from there, I don't know what happened. All right, so <clears throat> another topic, um, the Queen's Court, Akaya's self-sabotaging career. And I've seen another video she did. <clears throat> Sorry, got something in my throat. I seen another video where she did, you know, dissing, you know, T. S. Madison, you know, saying, "Oh, that's a man. It's never gonna be a woman," you know, T. S. Mandy Ho. But you knew all this stuff before you started uh, doing videos with her. And the thing about it is, you was sitting on that leather couch for years, and that shit didn't go nowhere. And then you did stuff with P. Weezy. In like this bum ass studio, but the only time that you had a video that trended was when you was talking shit about Beyonce, Beyonce's Lemonade, and the game was going to uh, place hands on you. So then that's when you did the Queen's Court, and you left Pee Weezy high and dry. And see, the thing about Kaya is that she always talks about how she doesn't want to be Hollywood, but then in the same breath, she talks about, I want to do big, I want to be on a bigger platform, I want to do movies. Like in her other videos, she, like in the Leather Couch video, and she want to <coughs> do good. <coughs> um, and she want to be on a bigger platform, and then she has opportunities, and she sabotages them. You know, now you roasting Nikki, and, but like, you like you must have been, you must have been wanting to be on TV because it don't add up. Because then you say, you know, if Nikki was give you this deal, and then Nikki didn't want to be associated with, um, with the Queen's Court. No, I don't think she want to be associated with Nokia. You know, you saying that you want, you don't want to be on TV and stuff. But then, well, if you didn't, you could have roasted Nikki in her videos. Then you saying that you want to sue that. Uh, T.S. was stealing, but then at the same breath, you said, oh, well, I, I didn't invest nothing in that. That was all her money. <clears throat> and that's why I don't do collaborations and stuff with people, because stuff like this, it shows people's true colors. And people feel some type of way. And, um, and T.S. was already bigger. It was already big in the industry. Before um, Kaya, because some people know Kaya from the internet in my neck, my back. Some people know Tears <coughs> from a lot of other stuff, like the um, carpool uh, uh, thing, and like she knows a lot of celebrities. But uh, Janet, I mean Janet, Kaya, just like the whole Janet Jackson situation, is sabotaged it herself. There's already facts. Because you could have roasted Nikki. If, now she roasted Nikki because, you know, uh, now that this has happened. But <clears throat> this just goes to show you that 
some people is two faced, they can turn on you. At least TS is a uh, more civilized. Not even mentioning Kaya. And Kaya, of course, just being her old hood rest self. It's <clears throat> just gonna be selling albums at the the local corner juke joint liquor store. Cause that's who buying your albums. You know, cause next next caller actually could have potentially been a big hit since my neck my back. It, it really could have, but I feel like she didn't really take the opportunity and just you know switch it up a little bit. But then in the next caller video, you know, she trying out different looks and wigs and stuff. So <clears throat> Kaya is one bipolar person. <laughs> she talking about she wasn't feeling Roman. Or, no, Nikki's a um, little persona, but I think she got a little Roman in her too, or some alter ego. Cause one minute this this, you know, I didn't invest no money in that, and in the next moment is, oh, I'm finna sue cause you steal. <clears throat> um, I need to get all my coins. I, you know, I wish you do good so I can get all my coins. Well, that means you're broke. You know, this was this could have been potentially big. But as again, Kaya made her own self flop. All right, <clears throat> that's all my thoughts for random chat. Um, thoughts, questions, concerns, leave them in the comment section below. Till then, this will be your boy Chris with the next. Peace.